<sighs> Got him. Oh, look at that, look at that. He tried to eat the sand. He sees, ooh! What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be feeding the world's deadliest fish. As you guys know, about three weeks ago, my buddy Paul and my buddy Ryan, we went out tide pool searching. And while we were tide pool searching, we ran into this cool looking stonefish. Oh, he just tried to bite my hand through the glass. Dude, I swear to you, he just tried to bite my, my finger through the glass. But anyways, we're going to try to do our first feeding on this guy on camera. I fed him some brine shrimp the other day. Notice that he was absolutely wrecking the brine shrimp. So I figured why not try a live feeding with you guys watching. So what we're going to do, we're going to get the cast net, we're going to get the dip nets and we're going to head out to one of our spots and try to cast net a bunch of little bait fish to do a feeding with the world's deadliest fish. We are here at the spot. Now it looks really, really good. So we're going to get this cast net out. I got the cast net. I also have some dip nets too, but first we're going to try to get some fish. So let's try to get some. Main goal is little, little like sand perch and stuff like that. Maybe if we get lucky, maybe some pilchards. Really want little, little sand perch. And I'm going to try, I'm going to try to switch it up. We'll, we'll try some sand perch. We'll try some crabs. We'll try some shrimp and really give him like options to choose from. Holy boys, imagine having one of those one day doing videos on that. Oh, big old pond. What happened if we did a pond on the boat? Right now, if you guys wanna see a pond, like I'm talking a whole fish pond on a big old boat like that, get this video to like, uh, just like this video. We'll see how many likes we can get. If I see there's a lot of likes and you guys wanna see it, we'll make it happen. It will probably be one of the most epic videos or we've ever filmed. Pancake served. Come on, little sand perch, little sand perch. And, uh, Nothing. Oh, and look who's here. There he is. Baby ostrich is back. <laughs> all right, all right. If I didn't get him, I'm feeling good on this one. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Is that a mullet? No way. Is that a finger mullet? That's a finger mullet. Oh, dude, right here is literally one of the best bait fish. Now, that is pretty big, but I think I have an idea for him. Now, I think we'll just throw this guy in the pool pond because this is pretty rare to find finger mullet like this. So, we're going to keep him. Dude, I love it. When we're trying to get sand perch, we get mullet. When we're trying to get mullet, we get mullet. sand perch. But, dude, that is bumblebee grouper and emperor sapper candy. That's funny though, because I did see a sand perch. I don't know how we ended up getting a mullet, but not complaining, not complaining. Let's see if we can get a sand perch now. I saw a little, little sand perch, but dude, I feel like they can almost see them. It's very small, dude. But I feel like they kind of go through the net. Oh, we got him, we got him. Perfect size ones too. All right, watch. No, 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 no. Come here, right there are exactly what we're looking for. Two little sand perch. Really good bait fish here in Jupiter. Hey, stay away. Watch that sucker, dude. He'll try to eat our fish. Those are perfect size. Just try to get like another half dozen and we should be good to go. Got him. Oh, that's a good size one right there. Heck yeah, perfect. All right, so we're good on bait. Look at this, we also, oh my gosh. Baby pompano. Is that what those are? Baby pompano in the net as well. Little baby pompano. We're gonna get these guys out because they are protected. You don't want anything happening to them. So we're gonna get these guys out, release them here. But that is so cool, little baby pompano. Oh, they went somewhere over there, but we got a bunch of sand perch, which are perfect size for our, for our stonefish here. Thank you, Ty. We should be set. I think I wanna try to get some crabs and some shrimp, and then we'll go home and do an epic feeding. Got it. Dude, look at all these ghost shrimp I just got. Look at, oh my gosh, that is the most I've ever gotten in one oh scoop. Oh, oh no, some are jumping out, but right there's a bunch of ghost shrimp, awesome bait for like pretty much everything. I'm sure the stonefish is absolutely gonna munch these guys, but it's good that we got like fish, now shrimp, maybe we can get some crabs, but I think the shrimp are gonna do it and we should be set to go. I'm gonna try to get a couple more. We got two different buckets, one for the shrimp and then one for the fish, just so the fish don't end up killing the shrimp. But look at that one little scoop with the net and I got all these ghost shrimp underneath the rock. Last time we were in this area, we did run into a baby injured moray eel. As you guys know, he had like a big gash in the side of his face. We tried rescuing him. He didn't end up, oh my, don't tie. A two foot barracuda right there in front of us. Two foot barracuda 
and he's so perfect size. Oh my gosh, he'd be perfect for the pond, dude. No! That thing, dude, trying to eat our fish. I had to launch the net at him. So we ended up getting a whole bunch of ghost shrimp. I mean, probably a good dozen and a half. Then we got this jumping mullet over here. Hey, he's going crazy. And a bunch of little perch that is actually gonna be fed to our stonefish. If you guys don't know the stonefish, they're classified as one of the world's deadliest saltwater fish. They have a gnarly, gnarly stink to them, just like the lionfish do. They're actually part of the lionfish family in the scorpion fish like category. There's a lot, it's, there's like four different names for this fish, but it is the world's deadliest fish, and we are about to do one of the world's deadliest feedings. Alright, here we go. Back at the house. Now we're gonna feed this mullet to the saltwater pond real quick before we feed our stonefish, but we're gonna see how this goes. Oh no, oh no, where is it? Oh, and, oh, oh, and for some, oh, he missed it. He got it, he got it. Oh no, he missed it, he missed it. Oh. Where is it? He missed it again. No way. I don't know where it went. Oh my gosh. Well, I think he missed it. I don't know. Did he miss it or I did he? I think he got it right there on that last blow up. Well, uh, the mullet absolutely got demolished as soon as we put it in the pond, kind of like I expected. But if you guys want to see where we put a ton of mullet, I don't think yet we've done that, where we put like a whole bunch of finger mullet at once. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. All right, we got our stonefish. Look at him right here. When, earlier, he tried to bite my finger through the glass. So maybe we'll get lucky here and uh, see if we'll eat one of these on camera. Now I don't know, this is really my first time doing this with live fish, so it's gonna be a first time for you guys and a first time for me. Oh, 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 he sees, it. he saw it, dude. Oh, he tried to eat the sand. He sees, it. oh, my God. I didn't know they moved that fast. Me either. Dude, he absolutely murked it. Look at that, gone. Oh, he'll eat another one for sure. I did not expect that. Holy cow. I'm mind blown. I did not expect him to literally see the fish. Sit there. I know. I thought he was going to sit there, wait for the fish to come to him, use kind of his like camouflage method, and then attack it. But he went fully after that fish and ended up annihilating it like as soon as it hit the water. Let's do another one. Oh, oh, oh he missed it. There's a ghost shrimp right there. He doesn't want anything to do with it. Look at our little hermit. Oh, 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 he sees it. Boom. Shrimp's dead. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Dude, he's like a, it's, this is the weirdest thing. He's it's like, like a group, pirata. like a grouper mixed with like a, uh, I don't know. Lionfish. Yeah. Don't looks like it, that's exactly what it yeah, looks that's like. that's like a face of a grouper. Oh, oh, he's going for that shrimp. shrimp. Yeah, he's going for that shrimp. Boom. <laughs> Dude, that is so epic. Oh. I want to see him get that perch. Oh, oh, it's right next to him. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. I think, oh, it looks like, oh, there he goes. gone. Just like that. Well, as you can see, our stonefish is putting on a complete show. Everything in this tank's doing awesome. We got our two coral banded shrimp who he actually. Did he just have a shrimp? Yes, he did have a shrimp in his mouth. Oh my gosh. Well, I was getting to that. He doesn't mess with any of these guys, and I think it's because of the bright colors they have, and he thinks they're almost like poisonous or something like that, so that's good news, but other than that, he just munched away on some sand perch and some ghost shrimp, put on a complete show. Our first feeding ever with this guy, and this is the world's deadliest fish. One reasoning for the world's deadliest fish is if you look really closely, see those spines? Well, if you get spined by one of those, you're pretty much going to the hospital at that point. So that is why they are the world's deadliest fish. Numb and the lionfish both have the same kind of like defense mechanism. So you definitely don't want to get your hands near them. I think he's probably just going to digest his food. Now, if you look really closely, I don't know how good you can see, but dude, you see like, it's, there's like a texture to his skin. It's crazy. Bumpy. Yeah, it's like bumpy. There's some like algae coming off his skin. It's crazy looking, but usually most of the time is just blending into the rocks. Right now, he went on a little feeding mode. First feeding we've done with him. Oh, and he just ate again. <laughs> oh my gosh. This thing is sick. If you guys want to see more videos, more feeding videos with this guy, because obviously we can feed him a bunch of different things. He, they almost see anything that can fit in their mouth. So if you guys have anything that you suggest to be fed to the stonefish, let me know in the comments down below. With that being said, stonefish ate. Oh, yeah, look at the arrow cut. Where? Oh, he, sorry. I, oh. I didn't mean to cut you off. He was grabbing the fish. No, that's fine. Content is content, brother. He, oh my. Oh, he's trying to grab him. I've never seen that. Me either. 
it's it's unbelievable how they know like the bait like fish and yeah like food and not yeah. food look at him oh my gosh he knows it's injured i guess yeah that is sick but that being said see y'all in the back, next back, one back, see ya back, back.